Hello everybody. In this video, the question remains. How to find the flux from a magnetic core? And this diagram shows a simple illustration of this magnetic core where we have this coil that is wrapped around this core. So how do we find it? Well first, let's understand that the magnetic core is very sim similar to the electric circuit. So we have this electric circuit right here where we have a battery and a resistor pin connected to it. And when we convert it to our equivalent electric circuit, this is how it will look like, where we have that voltage source and the resistor symbol, and also we have a current flowing through. Now you may be wondering, how is this related to the magnetic circuit? Well, to find our flux, we are going to have to draw our equivalent magnetic circuit given the diagram here that I've shown you in the beginning of the video. So we have the equivalent magnetic circuit and this is how it would look like. This time it's not a voltage source and it's not a resistor symbol either. So what is it? Well, these terms are called F and cursive R. And these two terms, if we apply the similar case to what we know about the electric circuit with, where we have a current here and a voltage source here and a resistor here, we know that by Ohm's law, I is equal to V divided by R. And in here, there's something flowing through the circuit. And that thing is the flux. And if we compare that to Ohm's law, and what I've said before is that it's similar to the numerical theory behind it, is that the flux is equal to F divided by cursive R. Now, Let's move on and de determine what are these two terms, F and cursive R. F is the magnemotive force in Newtons. That force is created by the current that is flowing through this coil, this coil right here. Now, what that means is that that current that is flowing through the coil each turn creates a certain force, and the more turns it creates, the greater the magnetic force is. Therefore, F is equal to N times I, where N is the number of turns in the coil and I is the current flowing through the coil. And I'm just going to draw where these symbols are going to be, and that is our magnemotive force. Our second term, which is cursive R, is the reluctance. Now the reluctance, that's similar to the resistor, depends on the type of core. For one, the size, for two, the width, the thickness, and three, the type of core that is being used. Now, cursive R is equal to the numerical term of these three parameters. Now this cursive L, this lowercase cursive L, 
symbolizes the perimeter of the surface of the core. So here's the perimeter. So those are the two sides, and then multiply by two. Curse, cursive lowercase l is the perimeter of the core. Capital A is the cross-sectional area of the core. And that essentially is the thickness, so right here, the thickness. And mu is the permeability of free space. Now in a given question, in a question, you would be given the permeability of free space. So that's a constant. So there we have it. That's our reluctance, cursive R, and cursive R is equal to L divided by mu times A. Now let's do a question, shall we? Since we've determined what our parameters, cursive R and F is, then now we can find the flux in a magnetic circuit. So here's the question. Given the coil I is equal to 0 0.5 amps, N is equal to 350 turns, and given the core, each side is 10 centimeters in length, and the cross-sectional area is 2.5 centimeters, determine the flux. Now in our magnetic circuit, I haven't written this before, but our permeability of free space would be mu is equal to 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. So first, what we do is implement the knowledge of what we of what I've said before, and that is to create our equivalent magnetic circuit. Now that we've done that, we first have to determine what F and R is. So, first of all, F is equal to N times I. And what we know is that the number of turns the coil have is 350, and the current that is flowing through is 0 0.5 amps. And what we get there is, we use a calculator, 175 newtons. For our reluctance, uh, we have to determine what our cursive L and capital A is. Mu has already been given, and that is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7. So L, what we know is that each side is 10 centimeters in length. Though, So we take 10 centimeters and multiply it by 4, and what we get is 40 centimeters, or 0 0.4 meters. Capital A is equal to 2.5 centimeters in thickness, so we take 2.5 centimeters and then multiply it by 2.5 centimeters again, and what we get is 6.25 times 10 to the negative 4 meters square. Given those two terms, we take the reluctance, cursive lowercase l is 0 0.4, divide it, divide that, and then we take the value of mu, the constant value, 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7, multiply that by 6.25 times 10 to the negative 4, and our reluctance value would be 50,295. So, we got our magnetic force value and a reluctance value and all we need to do now is take the flux and that flux would be equal to F divided by R cursive R 175 divided by 50 that 509,295 and our answer shall be 3.44 times 10 to the negative 4 
and our unit of flux would be capital W B. So there we have it. This is a simple video on how to determine the flux from a magnetic core. And to do that, what we need to do is we take the magnetic circuit, convert it to an equivalent magnetic circuit, understand that the flux behaves similar to a current flowing through an electric circuit, and then we have to find our magnetomotive force value, our reluctance value, and then we could find the value of our flux of which the current is flowing through the coil wrapped in a magnetic core. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you next time.